Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. Excellent kick. The Jayhawks have been talking with them this week, Kirk. It's just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself, and I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time, where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. Right? I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. So the sack makes this a second and long. And he's tackled right away. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Third down, seven yards to go. Ball on their own 28. Tackle at the 32. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Booming kick. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. The ball changes hands on the punt. Nice opening stand by the defense. Boy, the crowd was loud and did their part. Now if they're able to move the ball downfield, they can take control of this game early. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He's tackled around the 36 yard line. No gain on the play. Third down. Good enough to pick up the first down. He got seven, but it looked like for a second he could have broken it for even more. Good call. From their own 43-yard line. First down. Pitches it. He's got the corner. He's pushed out of bounds. Around the 50-yard line. Defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. From the 41 yard line, first down. Makes it out to about the 30. the middle for a nice game. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. My 52, my 52. Slings it. And they make the stop at the 17-yard line. This is the ninth play of the current drive. First down. Three down, three down. New Mike 52, Mike 52. Here we go! He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. Touchdown, Kansas State! He 
splits the uprights with the extra point. So a nine play, 72 yard drive, and they put up seven points. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Wildcats are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Caught out in the open. About three yards on the play pick. Second and seven. Ball on the 28. He's to the 40. And he's tackled at the 48-yard line. Smart play to get him the toss. When the defense doesn't react quickly enough, he can really do some damage. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. Hey, check five, check five, five, six, five, six. Red two. Oh. Rose, and he's right there to knock it away. I love to see a confident quarterback. Wait, you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith into your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. Zips it to the back, and he's taken down around the 43-yard line. Number 95 brings him down at the 43-yard line. From the 43-yard line, third down. Mike six. Mike six. two. First down, Graham. And a nice pickup there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Green nine. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. Second and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Blue four! Blue four! Swatted away. Nice play by the big lineman, but the offensive line has to do a better job of giving this quarterback a lane to throw through. Here's the eighth play of the series. around the 10-yard line. That's good decision-making there and mechanics by the quarterback. He knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but he looked off the other receivers first. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Hey, check five, check five, five, six, five, six. Red, two, three, nine. Watch the slant, watch the slant. They'll bring him down around the two-yard line. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. Kansas State leads it 7-0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Heading for the corner. Touchdown, Kansas! There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he hits the PAT. So a 10-play, 76-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. We're even at seven in this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He steps out around the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Here's an opening. He's to the 40. Brought down right around the 46-yard line. yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback it's second and 13 ball on their own 43 out of bounds around the 46 yard line Quick throw. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Fourth down. He was able to deaden that kick perfectly, and he gives them a long field to work with. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle made at the 18-yard line. He might have gained a yard on that scramble. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 18. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. Gain of 11 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike, check Mike, Mike six, Mike six. Gets to that quickly. He gets hit out of bounds right around the 36-yard line. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Boy, this senior safety provides such solid run support. He stopped him in his tracks that time. it away and this is a really nice punt they'll bring him down at the 19. you always want to go in the locker room with momentum so as we get closer to halftime i think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays got a man but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage they get a one-yard loss on that one. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 18. He's got it out to his tight end. About six yards on that completion. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch.
Sends it out quick, intercepted. Inside the 30. Great play there by the corner to come up with a big interception. That's not a very good pass right there. He should probably have tried to throw that one away. He was under heavy pressure and then threw it right to the corner. From the 27-yard line, first down. Around the 17-yard line. About a 10-yard gain that time on the completion on the slant. Jayhawks taking their first time out of the half. They'll get him for a loss. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays. But if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Complete. He's got room. He's tackled right around the 10-yard line. Boy, when you can rely on your tight end to move the chains, you got a big-time advantage over any defense. Black five, black five. Three, easy, easy. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. Kill, kill, kill. Three, left, left. That makes it second and two. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. These short, effective passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. Quick throw, and he tackles him hard at the three-yard line. This one should be makeable. Kansas could take the lead with this field goal. Kick is up, and it is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Points were very hard to come by in those first two quarters. They'll head to the locker room. 10-7, Jayhawks. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. One thing has been apparent in this first half that we just saw. Both defensive coordinators a step ahead of their counterparts on offense. They've had the answer for every formation, every shift, every movement, every motion that they've tried to come up with. So to try to break free and get something moving on offense, might it be time to show a little trickeration? A little trickeration never hurt nobody. I mean, it's, it's something that if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. And you got to find a way to do something a little bit different because it wasn't working. Let's find some new plays in that book. Let's, let's run a little bit of option. Let's run some reverse. Let's run some double passes. How about we bring a blitz with everybody? Just don't even cover anybody. Just bring everybody. Bring the house. You know, try to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. Try to get a spark going for your ball club. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese Davis, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. The Jayhawks continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. Bring up second and 11. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Ready? Blue 45. 
Scrambling around. They come out on an empty backfield. And he hits him hard at the 13. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Oh, excellent punt. Nice yardage on the run back. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Kansas has a three-point lead. Fires out to his receiver, and they make the stop around the 41-yard line. That's a gain of 11 on the play. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. Tackle that producing pickup. A gain of about four yards on the draw. That'll make it second and seven. He's hit and taken down. Number 50 on the tackle. It's first and 10. Ball on the 30 yard line. He's taken down around the 20 yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. Fights forwards about the 19. That brings us second and nine. It's second and nine. Ball on the 19 yard line. Check, check, dancer, dancer. Motion, motion. And he's got it. Touchdown, Jayhawks. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's under some heat, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And he's tackled at about the 41. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. From their own 41-yard line, first down. Taken down at the 37. That is a loss of four yards. That makes it second and 14. Watch the screen. Pass. New Mike 52. Mike 52. Run That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. He let his wide receiver too far to the outside. Yeah, he just had to pull the string a little bit more there. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. He really got a hold of that one. 
Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're heading in the right direction. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receiver. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And down he goes. Right around the 38-yard line. Loss of one there for the halfback. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. That's good for a game of 16 yards. First down. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. Red to the... Goes quick to the receiver and falls incomplete. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. Mike six. Mike six. Red two. Red seven. Red seven. Eight. And he's tackled right away. That's a gain of nine on the play. That'll make it's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Hey, check Mike. Check Mike. Mike six. Mike six. He fights forward to about the 36. That's a great tackle at the 33. That's a gain of three on the play. That makes it first, first down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Nice run there. That's three down and one to go. Jayhawks with a 10-point lead. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Mike six. Mike six. Go. Here we go. Here we go. Brought down around the 15 yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. From the 15 yard line. First down. Side. He gets out to about the 12 yard line. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Four down, four down. Mike six. Mike six. Black five. Black five. Touchdown, Kansas! Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Jayhawks have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Tackle made at a 
about the 33 yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Passes in and it's picked out of the sky. And he is drilled at the 38. Not only did he demonstrate his leaping ability, but he also has the hands to be able to pull the ball in. Great job. First and 10, ball on the 38. Catches it and he's punished. Game seven on the play. That'll make it second and four. it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. The best way to move beyond a turnover is to score. And when you can start on the other team's half of the field, you're in really good shape to have a chance to do that. And he's level at the 19-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle around the 10-yard line. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Strike and it's caught for the touchdown. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After, After review of the, the play, play, the ruling, ruling on, the, on the, field the field stands. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. He makes the PAT. tackled at the 40. That might have just clinched it. And that's a really strong effort by the hands team to make sure they came away with the football. This offense lost the ball by way of a fumble the last time they had it. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. He's tackled at the 32. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. 
It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And they get nice yardage on that run. The defense can't be surprised that they're running the football. But for whatever reason, they're not stepping up when they need to to be able to come up with a stop. Again with a run, and not this time. He's hit hard for a loss. Two-yard loss for the halfback. The Wildcats using their third and last timeout. They work the outside. That's a gain of four. That'll bring up third and eight. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Fourth down, they'll call on the field goal unit here. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. Not looking so good for the offense. At this point, all they can do is put the ball in the air and hope. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack speed. Right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the middle. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Once it all, going deep. Picked off, and that's going to wrap this one up. Herbie with that interception. This one's over. than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, 27-14, Jayhawks. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kurt? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play.